here at Leica Studios going behind the scenes for its new animated movie, Missing Link, to show you how this innovative company uses a mix of old world techniques like stop motion animation, CG effects, and 21st century 3D processing to create true movie magic. To create films that look and feel strikingly different than anything you'll see elsewhere in Hollywood, Leica employs the painstaking process of stop motion animation, but with a very modern twist. Stop motion involves the use of dozens of snapshots for each single second of film. The animators use tiny movements in the characters and their surroundings for each shot, which when combined create the illusion of motion. To bring this art into the 21st century, Leica uses a hybrid of techniques, old and new, that span the gamut of filmmaking creating every thread, every set piece, and every minute detail of each of its films in-house for a distinctive and authentic aesthetic. But at the core of every Leica film are two key elements, a grand adventure story and a puppet. Well, puppets, actually. In the case of Leica's latest film, Missing Link, the grand adventure is an odyssey that takes its characters through 60 exotic locations, requiring as many as 97 individual animation stages working simultaneously across 20,000 square feet of studio space. Set in the Victorian era, the film is built as a kaleidoscopic travel log that's part Indiana Jones, part Sherlock Holmes, and part Around the World in 80 Days, making this Leica's most ambitious cinematic effort yet. As for the puppet portion, the lead character for Leica's newest adventure also pushed the studio to its limits in terms of both design and execution. Leica uses puppet technology to do its stop motion, and this is the star of the new film, Link, aka Susan, and it's actually one of their most complicated puppets yet. As you can see, this is the underlying skeletal structure. It uses over 250 components, and then to create this puppet here, they use a mix of all kinds of materials, including three different kinds of silicone, and all kinds of different interior materials to allow it to move naturally and create this very realistic looking Bigfoot character. The urethane skin is designed to create the illusion of fur without the unwanted flickering or boiling that often results when a figure covered in individual strands is filmed one snapshot at a time. One of the backbones of Leica's unique take on stop motion is the incredible vitality and sheer volume of expressions of its characters. To help bring its colorful characters to life, the studio pioneered a whole new approach, enhancing the old world techniques of stop motion with state-of-the-art 3D printing tech. In the early days of stop motion, animators developed what's called replacement animation, where a rudimentary selection of replaceable mouthpieces, eyes, and other facial features could be removed and replaced for each shot to create the illusion of speech and emotional expression. With its first movie, Coraline, Leica raised the bar for replacement animation by leveraging 3D printers for a technique called rapid prototyping, creating hundreds of thousands of removable faces that gave its puppets incredible realism. Unfortunately, the limitations of the technology in that first film meant that Leica could only print in one color, white, so each of the faces still had to be meticulously painted by hand. Since then, Leica has worked with 3D printing partners like Stratasys to improve its techniques for each subsequent film, eventually allowing the studio to print colored faces that no longer needed to be painted individually. Leica's last film, Kubo and the Two Strings, leveraged these new techniques to astonishing effect, stretching Coraline's 200,000 plus facial expressions to an astounding 48 million. But the studio didn't stop there. Working with Stratasys, Leica once again evolved its techniques for Missing Link, using new printers with custom software that print in more vibrant colors thanks to their ability to print resin directly into a 3D space allowing for up to 18 million tiny pixels of color per cubic centimeter. With more colors and better accuracy, Leica was able to nearly double the facial expressions for Missing Link, allowing its animators for the first time to use bespoke facial expressions specifically designed for each performance. The result is a cast of characters that are so realistic and lifelike, you simply fall into the story. The other major piece of Leica's hybrid puzzle involves the use of computer animation from the studio's in-house visual effects team. While Leica aims to build absolutely every element of its films in the tangible, living world, the studio's grand vision for its adventures goes beyond what you can make out of wood and steel. Leica's VFX team works closely with its stop-motion animators and various other artists and crafters to enhance what's already there. That includes everything from creating smoky mist and raging seas to removing unwanted elements from the puppets such as chatter, a warbling effect inherent in the stop-motion process. The VFX team also removes things like the rigging systems that hold the puppets in place, as well as the seam lines on each puppet's head where the removable faces attach. 
The end result is a visual spectacle of light, color, and motion unlike anything in the world of animation today, earning like a four Academy Award nominations for Best Animated Feature, as well as landing the studio's director of rapid prototyping, Brian McLean, a scientific and engineering Oscar in 2016 for pioneering the use of 3D printers in stop motion animation. You can see the company's latest achievement for yourself when Missing Link lands in U.S. theaters April 12, 2019.